Yeah, um, so we should be able to meet again on Tuesday. Um, if, that, if that works for you. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, listen, I gotta go. Alright, yeah, we'll talk soon. Alright, here we go. Alright, bye. Hey, yep, yeah, come in. On your mark. A seahorse. Okay. Hi, uh, my name is Justin, and uh, this is Jen. Um, we are the Hate family, or the parents of the. Half. Half of the hate family. <laughs> uh, you met the other two in the video that you just watched. And uh, we're both teachers. And we've been coming to St. John's for eight years now. And um, Rob asked us to do a reflection. and Well, he asked me to do a reflection. <laughs> and, and you dragged the rest of the family. And I dragged the rest of the family <laughs> in it. <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, a few weeks ago, Rob asked me slash us to reflect on the word go and uh, there's a lot of irony in that um, and the fact that uh, during a time um, of almost three and a half months of, of time uh, we were told to stay um, and so there's irony in that and as you can see uh, from the video we didn't we didn't really go anywhere per se um, other than outside um, and as a family, uh, as a couple who really values um, going and doing things and being productive, uh, we're always on the go. Um, it was painful at times to just sit and to stay and to stop. Um, and sometimes we just uh, wanted uh, others to go away from us at times. <laughs> um, so, um, we think, or I think, I think we, we learned that there is a lot of value in staying um, and slowing down uh, and stopping and not constantly forcing um, the agenda or what's next on the list or what do we need to do, um, but to just sit and uh, stay, uh, stay together as a family um, at a time when it wasn't always comfortable to do that so well we've been thinking about go and we've been thinking about it in the context of the opposite of go being to stop and to stay because that seems so much more relevant in the last few weeks in light of this pandemic and shelter in place and um, social distancing and all those kinds of things and as Justin said we tend to be um, people who move quickly we tend to prize products of fast-paced going things that are efficient, things that 
are based on accomplishment and production of a lot of different things, being resourceful, functioning, all of those things that we um, love and value in life uh, are not really part of stopping and staying. They are very much more a part of on the go and um, just kind of constantly moving. And those parts of our life are good and sweet, but what we have found in this time of the stop and the stay are more of um, products and maybe fruits, as the Bible would say, of our spirit and of our soul. And we've found things to be um, developing more like love and joy and peace and patience and gentleness and self-control and all these things that we've been tested in and working on are part of um, stopping and staying more than they are of going. And so we've been looking at this word go more in reflection off of what is opposite of it. So as it turns out, we can learn even when we don't go to school and we can pray even when we don't go to church and we can go with God and we can hopefully when all of us get back together someday soon, we hope, because we really do miss our St. John's family. We hope that um, we will go into the world with a greater sense of peace and purpose and um, that we will all be able to go in peace together. So we send our love and we do miss you all in this time of the stopping and the staying, but we are looking at developing some of these new fruits of our spirits. So <laughs> Patience. <laughs> Self-control. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah. Well, thanks for listening. Yeah. Take care, everyone.